Hi and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today we're not going to code anything but we will have a look at a very important aspect of iOS development, namely iOS app icons. And many people have asked me how can they actually create um, all of the required app icon sizes very quickly. Because if you have a look at Xcode and at the assets folder and in the um, app icon area, you can see that there are quite a lot of icons required. Um, these are not even all of the required icon sizes that you have to generate if you create a universal app. So in order for you to um, do that as quickly and as efficiently as possible, I'd like to show you uh, one of the greatest app icon templates that are out there and the URL is as simple as that. It's just appicontemplate.com and you will find uh, actually uh, quite a bunch of different templates for uh, Apple Watch icons, um, the standard iOS icon, the OS X, and so on. And we're going to select the iOS app icon for now, and you can find um, the link of this um, app icon template and all of the other resources that we're going to use in the video description below. So let's head to the app icon template. You can then simply download the PSD file. So actually Photoshop is required for this tutorial. And once you've downloaded the file and opened the folder that you get, um, it is very important that first of all, you double click on the ATN file, which is a Photoshop script. Uh, which will later allow you to export all of the um, all of the icon sizes that you really need. And then let's open the iOS icon template. You may get um, a warning that some text layers contain fonts that are missing, but that's not a problem for us. And then you get this really clean and great display of your icon. And this is just a demo icon and you can see how it looks on the home screen in the App Store in its huge size um, and in the different other sizes. And everything is generated automatically because they're using smart objects within this template. So if you have a look at the layers on the right in Photoshop, then you can see that there is a simple layer called Edit Me. And once we double click on that and hit OK, we will get this um, this huge version of our icon. And as you can see, we can also choose different backgrounds here in the layers area. We simply have to uh, deselect um, and select them. Um, and I'm just I'm going with the red and orange one here. So just choose what you like or create your own custom background. You can also choose colors here, um, but you can do whatever you want here. You can also activate an outer mask here. This is the red marked layer and this gives you uh, the actual look of the icon once it's done. But it is important that for Xcode you export it in this squared version because iOS does all of the rest and we will deactivate the grid here. And there's also this glyph that we can activate and deactivate. And we actually want our own symbol for this app icon. And if you are looking for symbols or icons um, on the web, then I highly recommend the nounproject.com, for example. You can find a lot of public domain icons here um, that you can simply download as SVG or a PNG file. And I've just downloaded this pen here or this pencil. And I've brought that to my desktop and I've simply here, this is the, uh, this pencil in the PNG format. And I'm going to drag that now into my Photoshop window. And there we go. Now it's still black, but what we can do is we can double click on the appropriate layer. We can also move it up to the top, double click the layer and then select um, color overlay. And by doing that, we can simply change it to whatever color we like. Let's choose white here. And then all we need to do actually is save that file, close it, and there we go. We have a completely great rendered icon um, ready for the App Store for every purpose within our app. Um, you can have a look at how it looks on the home screen and that's how easy it is. And now as for exporting it, all we need to do is actually open up um, the window, um, the window pane here, select actions, 
and then we get an actions window. And as you can see here, we have two um, new actions here, square icon export and rounded icon export. And then I can simply choose the square icon export and hit the play button. And then Photoshop asks me um, if I want to save it. So I'm just hitting save here. And then I will create a new folder on my desktop, call it icons, hit save. Then it takes just about a few seconds. And once I go into my icons folder, I have another folder here called app icon squared. And there we go. Look at that. We've got all of the required icon sizes, including the iTunes artwork image that you have to upload to iTunes Connect. So I'm going to select all of them besides from the um, iTunes artwork, simply drag them into my Xcode window. And then we have inserted all of the icons and we can let's change this to a universal app. And then it makes more sense because now we have the CarPlay icon, we have uh, the app, iPad app icon, we have the iPad Pro app icon and so on and so on. And once we run our application in the simulator, we should see a nice icon for our demo app here, which doesn't too much actually. But this video was all about creating icons in a quick and efficient manner. And I'd also like to make one last announcement. It's really exciting because we have been working quite hard at this. Um, this is over at the guise of Numa TV. This is a great place to learn anything in live classrooms. And uh, we've created the Brian Advents iOS School, where you can learn to become a self-sufficient iOS developer in three months. So basically, um, we will cover uh, programming basics in, in Swift in the first month. Uh, in the second month, we will cover um, Xcode and UIKit basics so that you learn step by step how to create a user interface, how um, to react to um, user inputs and so on. And the third month will be all about advanced iOS development techniques like core data, um, CloudKit, other frameworks that you can use to improve your apps even further. And at the end of each month, you will have created a complete application. So this is really exciting. Um, and if you're interested, just hit the apply now button at the bottom. So this is all really exciting. You will get um, new tutorials every week now, every Friday. Um, you will get these iOS quick tips. And if you're interested, you can also check out this Numa TV class. And you will also find a link for the Numa TV class in the video description below. So thank you for watching and see you soon.